about what's hot now. Yeah. Oh, I, st I still have a butterball in me. Yes, it's not a baby. <laughs> Did you all have a great weekend? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. So it's nice. It's nice to be off. Nice to enjoy family and sleep. It was great. Yeah. Yes, Eating right? It's amazing, especially after you eat. I know. That's exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you put on the sweatpants and just fall asleep. It's so <laughs> great. Well, I hosted this year, and you two came yeah i know you came you just came to have a drink uh, you just wanted to get away from the kids I, I took my kids by myself to the parade the macy's thanksgiving day parade and it's like herding cats to get two kids out yeah. so by noon i ran to meredith and i ran in and i said open that bottle <laughs> i said open that bottle and then yams came in yeah. like a storm like i came in and hungry and needing a place to stay. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I came in there. You came in and I offered you some warm apple cider and you tasted it. The first thing you said was, is there anything else in this? Yes. And you proceeded to go fill it with, what was it, rum or? With, I had Bacardi in it. Oh, and um, Yeah, and I had five glasses of it. <laughs> and I was just walking through the house, just touching stuff and <laughs> lingering. How was, she, how was she as a guest when she I left? She was wonderful as a guest, but before, this was my, my year to host, like I said, my side of the family. And I'm saying to Richard before they show up, there's a bunch of them, but there's gonna be 20 all together. I said, I know these people well. We're having red wine. They're gonna spill it on this rug. I want them to stay away from the rug. And Richard's like, oh my God, calm down. Everything will be fine. So we, and the whole time I'm obsessing. Like, I'm so glad you had white wine. I was glad you That's did That's only the thing you no, offered me, I was, though. I did only offer you one, <laughs> but it ran yeah. with turkey, shed of red, so I'm sitting down at the table, I'm thinking, I know someone's gonna do this, I know someone's gonna do this, and I did that, and I knocked my wine glass, my wine glass, Stop. all over the carpet. My husband's just looking at me, oh yeah. Sure, you wanted to blame everybody else. God looked down on you and, and uh -huh. smote you. Was she so, screaming? It was like, oh, no! I mean, hysterical. It was, I, at first, yeah. first of all, I was so glad. I, I'm clumsy. I was so glad it wasn't oh, me. I thought it would have been you. Oh, no, I thought it was going to be me, too. But, I mean, Meredith was so, you were so upset. I was hysterical. About it. Everybody was like, for, I thought maybe the turkey had walked out the oven or something. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. And then I was so mad. And then people dumped a whole thing of salt on it and club soda, and, and then I did. So did it work? Eventually, yeah. So it's out. Yeah. It, oh. As far as I'm squinting now when I look at the rug, but I think it's out. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So you, yours was very interesting because you weren't even in this country. I wasn't. I actually went to China with my husband. He had a business trip yeah. to uh, yeah. Hong Kong. They obviously don't celebrate Thanksgiving there, and his company's based in London, so they don't care about American holidays. So, so we were you eat? Um, sushi. <laughs> sushi on Thanksgiving, which sounds a little odd, but honestly, it was such a fun experience. So different. And right now, we don't have kids, so like it's our time to travel. Exactly. So we took full and advantage. Is such a cool. I place. was, and you know what was so nice about it is everyone was so aware that it was American Thanksgiving that random people on the street would come up to me and say, "Oh, happy Thanksgiving," or in shops and stuff. So I thought that was really nice that they yeah, were acknowledging that. Exactly. So, really fun trip. So you didn't eat a lot then on Thanksgiving. I didn't, but I'm gonna make up for it at Christmas. Okay. okay all right. <laughs> and Liz, for the first time in how many years you went home? Over a decade. Wow. Wow. I went home to Mississippi. Yeah, I went to nice. yeah, I went to New Orleans for a couple of days. Oh, look, and, oh, that's, look how full that plate is. Wow, what's on that plate? That was the first of many plates. So that beans? Black eyed beans. Oh, eyed black eyed peas. Everything. I mean, yeah. you got uh, those are mustard greens mustard. actually. Oh. Yeah. Cornbread, specially made cornbread, because you know we make it in an iron skillet. You know you have a crispy crust on the top. Oh. Uh, so I ate my butt off the whole time. It's been over a decade since I've been home for Thanksgiving, and it was so nice. This is the first time that I got in the kitchen with my mom and cooked Thanksgiving with her. Oh, so it was a nice bonding experience, yeah. and uh, it was just really nice. Got to see the grandparents. Yeah, it was lovely. Take a walk on Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day, and what's all over the streets? Christmas trees. Mm -hmm. There are, do you uh, few people buy your trees this early? Some, yes? yes. No. I can think, but they're yes. going to be kindling by Christmas. <laughs> but they dry out. I don't understand this obsession with getting the tree right at Thanksgiving. See, I have a timeline. If the Obamas have one, and if Rock, and if Rock Center has one, then I can have a Christmas tree, too. Yeah. I mean, right, Pete, right? It's yeah. the most wonderful time and of the year. I want out. it to last forever. Well, that's because when you buy a fresh Christmas tree, you have to make sure that they chop off at least two inches of the bottom before you take it home. That's the key, people. Mm -hmm. And then you have to change the water. Some yeah. people just leave that I'm dirty torn, water for torn. weeks. I'm torn because I want a fresh Christmas tree because I like how it smells in the house. But by the time my husband gets back next week, we'll have maybe a week and a half, two weeks to enjoy it. So is it worth it? And then outside my window, I get the rock Christmas tree anyway. Oh, so you see from cheat? your window? Yeah, so oh. I can cheat. Like, that's my Christmas tree. tree. Yeah, yeah, that's my tree. That's your tree. Yeah. Well, been working well, on it for months. This is what I do. I go to the people who are foolish enough to buy it early. I go look at their tree, and I get it two days before Christmas at Rite Aid for like 50% off, <laughs> and then I decorate. <laughs> All right.
Christmas has come early for superstar singer Adele. Billboard announced yesterday her new album, 25, sold a record-shattering 3.38 million copies in the U.S. Just in one week, also, which is too great excited, for her. Yeah. I know, for you it's a little bittersweet, Lance. <laughs> yeah, you know, it is bittersweet. Of course, she broke our record uh, for No Strings Attached. We've held it for 15 years. Wow, and wow. Look, yeah, uh, that's pretty that's pretty 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 yeah, and records are meant to be broken. I think it's exciting for the music industry because no one thought that that record would ever be broken. And, you know, yeah, with internet sales and physical sales put together, you know, it, it adds up. But, I mean, she sold CDs, 1.5 million in just CDs alone, and that's impossible to do these days. Right. So this is what I'm offering right now. Adele, for us to officially pass the torch, I think NSYNC and Adele need to do a duet. Ooh! Oh, that's nice. I mean, it's the only way yeah, okay. to kind of pass it on. That well, were you, were you, you know, it's always hard to lose something that, that you've held, but in a way, was it okay because it was her? You know it, what I mean? It, yeah. Very true. I mean, yeah. you could you could have lost it to One Direction or Justin Bieber, and you're <laughs> like, Come on, Wait. but yeah, Adele, I'm, I'm excited so that who she did took you, the record. record did you beat to get? We actually uh, broke the Backstreet Boys record. They had it, oh, for, well, they they had it for about nine months before we oh, came out with No yeah, Strings yeah, Attached. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, actually, Howie D, uh, he, he did a nice Facebook message to us on our, on our page, and it what was really say? sweet. He was just saying, if you need a good uh, psychologist, uh, AJ knows one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we went through this before, but yeah, it was really. Uh, did any of you buy the? Re have you bought it? No. Did you buy no. it? No. I downloaded the song. I did. I, down <laughs> I, did. I bought I it totally as well. It's yeah. a beautiful, it's yeah. beautiful album. It's unbelievable. I didn't I buy it because the they played on all the commercials and stuff now, so I just listened to it. <laughs> <laughs> It's on every show. It's on every yeah, show. Yeah. Book Friday and have it on sale. Yes, yeah, yeah, by the end of the month. Yeah, exactly. All right, switching gears here. Of course, we have to talk about sex. It's that time. <laughs> In a relationship, how important is sex? Well, for former Miss Universe Olivia Culpo, it could be a deal breaker. According to the New York Daily News, she's ended her two month long relationship with NFL player Tim Tebow, reportedly due to his virginity vow. Because in 2000. <laughs> See, now, why is everyone cringing? In 2009, he announced he's, a bur he's saving himself for marriage, and she went out with him for a few months and just went, uh, well, according to these reports, I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. She was the one who went out with Nick Jonas, though. He had the virginity vow, and then he broke it with her. With uh -huh. her? Because he yeah. knew she wanted to break him. She's trying to, yeah. she try to snatch virginities and stuff? I don't know. See, that's the thing. <laughs> because when you get in a relationship with Team T Tebow, it's been highly publicized. You know, you know yeah. So I feel like her and then that other girl, Camille Bell, that dated him as well, you know you're getting into a relationship with But you think you're going to be the one. I bet you, you're going to be the one. There's an attraction there, yeah. right? You want to take their okay, virginity? Mary, as a mother, guys, I'm like, this is who I want dating my daughter. You I'm do, like, yeah. I want someone who is respectful. He's writing love letters. But do you want to... Uh, what is chivalry is dead? Why? Oh, no, that's so suspect to me. I'm sorry. You still have sex. No. But the thing is, what, is sex everything? Yeah. But do you no. want her to know sex with the person before she marries him? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I go with that. Yeah, don't nobody want to get Listen, and I was the virgin up here until I was 27. Let me tell you something. I didn't know what I was doing, and I'm glad I twirled around. Exactly. And I don't want nobody who don't know how to twirl around. Okay? No, that's what I'm saying. Everybody you needs a test drive. drive. You, can, you can tiptoe through the tulips over there, but yeah, not over yeah. here. Wait, okay. you, you, wait like, a second, guys. You can do a lot of things besides yeah, having yeah, fish well, and sex. But there's, there's a mature, a there's a mature factor here. And with Tim Tebow, he was writing love letters and professing his love after two months and not having sex. And it obviously was. Uh, she was not giving anything back. She was just not that into him. So I think there's a mature factor that he did not have. It's not just about sex. Love letters. I don't think it's just about the sex. There's something else going on. What do you think? Well, what do we, what what do we know? We I know nothing. Know. Right. I don't know. All right. Okay. But had they had sex and she had become pregnant, just it's a yeah. transition. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and she lived in New York City. She might have been able to park her car anywhere she wants. Now, see, do you understand where I'm going with this? In New York City, they're considering this, this idea that's, that already other cities have it, where if you're pregnant and you meet certain medical conditions, they have a special place for you to park near whatever, the mall, whatever it is. Is it a good idea or not? Love it. Great love idea. It. Great love idea. It. Yeah. Anyone who's been pregnant knows your feet turn into, like, Barney Rubble, Fred Flintstone. Uh, but you have and to get a doctor's notice or something. Y'all say danced around until she was, like, 11 months pregnant. I think you can park like everybody else when they park. Can't. Some people actually have medical conditions. Yeah. <laughs> make sure that those spots don't take away from handicap spots. So oh, no, are they, oh, no they're in addition. Right. They're in addition. Right. Right. So oh. And thank goodness, and thank goodness it's a permit, because could you imagine being the ones 
deciding who's pregnant or not, trying mm. to stop but those ladies. But you know what's interesting? Oh. Yeah, because you pretend you're pregnant a lot, you yeah. said. All the time! Yeah, yeah. I got this yeah. gut! No, Look at that baby in here! When you get on the subway. Oh. You, you clap to that. Music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She would abuse it. You know, the National Organization for Women, interestingly enough, because this bill came up once before, and it was now who was opposed to it because they said they don't want people to see pregnancy as a disability. Because already pre pregnant women in the workforce very often are discriminated against. So they thought this as one more step towards that. But this is not disability. Sometimes you need a little extra help when you're, like, carrying bags. Anyone who's been pregnant yeah. carrying bags trying to get to a car, it's tough. Well, so any, why not help them out a little bit? A pregnant mom deserves everything. She's carrying a baby. with kids. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm into the spots at malls that are for, meant for mothers with their children. I think why not, Stork you know? Parking. Yeah. yeah. Stork, Stork parking. parking. Yeah.